So I'm inside my Python package environment for Py 2.7. I've already run source activate. And what Magenta MIDI comes with is a uh, interface for listing ports. So that's what we're going to do. So we can see here that I've got an input port and output port for my uh, keyboard that I've got hooked up. What I wanted to do is set up Fluid Synth now to look at that sound font, receive MIDI events, and use the sound font to synthesize those MIDI events. So I'll launch another tab here, and I've just dropped that sound font here, that Timbres of Heaven uh, crazy sound font. And I'm going to run Fluid Synth. I'm going to give it that uh, sound font. Great. And it puts me in it to its own little console, and you can do a lot of other things in here. We won't be looking at any of that. But let's go back here now and list the ports. OK, so now we can see that there is an output port for Fluid Synth. Uh, so we want to hook up Magenta MIDI now to talk to the, uh, to receive events from our keyboard and be able to send both the events from the keyboard and its own synthesized MIDI events to Fluid Synth. So we're going to run Magenta MIDI. What we're going to specify as an input port, we want the uh, complete control, the MIDI interface that I'm using. And as output, we're going to output to Fluid Synth's virtual port. And this always has a sort of randomized uh, port number. So just check what that port number is after running list ports, and then plug that in right here. Let's say 877. And then we specify the bundle file, which is the pre-trained model that it will use to listen to and then synthesize from. So this is basically using that primer melody function that we've, we've seen that we could use with the command line. It's using that, but it's doing it all interactively for us. So this will launch with the metronome. Now we can hear that metronome. And I should be able to hear the output from my uh, MIDI interface, my keyboard here. And now the response. Wow. So it seems to work. And uh, for those of you that are more musical, you could explore it in a lot more different ways. So I will just attempt to play this, but have no idea what I'm really doing. So I gave it a pretty long primer sequence, really polyphonic. I'm using the polyphony RNN model. Let's see what it comes up with. better than what I played, at least. Um, I hope you get to explore it and try it on your own. Uh, I'm just going to kill this. Um, there's a lot to explore here. And having this in a kind of interactive setup where you can play on the keyboard and hear the results of a pre-trained deep recurrent neural network in real time is pretty extraordinary. So I'm really excited to see what you come up with and how you explore this model in your own time. Thank you.